To start cloud rendering in Revit 2012, first thing you'll need to do is go to rendering.cloud.autodesk.com and then you sign in with your subscription or Autodesk ID. So logging in here, you can download the plugin and it's a real small application. So after you sign in, you go under the new rendering tab and then you'll see on the right side here, render online using Revit and you want to download that rendering add-on. And the rendering add-on is going to be just another ribbon that shows up in Revit. So you just download that, run it. Notice you do need a Revit 2012 with the Update 2 installed. So you'll need the latest update in Revit. Then once that's installed, I'll go back into Revit here. So first I'll just do a regular mental ray render. I'm going to be at high setting, or if I've already done one for this camera. Uh, it took about 30 minutes. So this is just using the standard built-in rendering engine which uses mental ray here in Revit. So I did an exterior sun only scheme. High quality setting. So now let me sign into my subscription account through Revit. And once you sign in, you can then render in the cloud. So sign in just gives you that active link to the cloud server. It's the same ID that I used before and this online ribbon which is what's added when you download that rendering plugin uh, just has the two settings render in the cloud and render gallery so once you're signed into your subscription account you just render in the cloud so I just hit that button in the ribbon and then it gives you the steps here so you're basically going to be selecting the views you want to render you can do one or more camera views and then you'll get an email notification when it's ready and then you can go to the online render gallery so these now are the settings for the cloud render. Now they're not using mental ray, so this is a completely different rendering engine. So your result is going to look slightly different. You can go still images or panorama. You've got four quality settings, four image size settings. So I can go with the medium resolution and then file format. You can go PNG, JPEG, or uh, uncompressed TIFF. And then notice notify by email when complete and just click on start rendering and your file is sent off to the cloud so it's completely off your processor you can go back into Revit and work with it as you normally would and then you'll get notified through email that the rendering is complete so that just works in the background and not taking any of your processor or RAM you just work in Revit as you normally would if you want to look though in progress to see what's go going on at any time you can just click on the render gallery so I just clicked on render gallery, log in again. And this gives you access to all your previous renders that you've already sent to the cloud. And it also shows you anything in progress. So here I can see under project that render there still being rendered. I have a previous test render that I had sent out there. It gives you the information about it as it's rendering. And now that render is almost complete. So the total time it took was, from the second that I hit that button, was three minutes. So my 30-minute render on my machine, which is a quad-core machine, 8 gigs of RAM, pretty decent machine, took 30 minutes at that high quality. Here it took three minutes to get it completed. And what's nice here, too, if I click on the completed image, I have other settings that I can work with. Here I'm just going to expand it so I can see the render a little better. And you can share these with uh, Facebook. It's a nice looking render, done uh, incredibly quickly. And then my other options, I can re-render it again and change the settings. And there's actually a couple extra settings I can control there too. I can hide it. Here I want to download it, so I'm just going to download that image. And then I'm going to open up this render in Photoshop and show you side by side the render from Revit and the rendering I just did there through the cloud. So you can see definitely a different rendering engine. You can see slight differences in exposure control and materials. But the results are, are very impressive, particularly considering how fast that rendered out. So you think in the 30 minutes it would have taken you with Revit, you could have done uh, up to 10 renders through the cloud renderer. You just set 10 images out. Figure if you're talking to a client, as you're talking to them, you can send out a bunch of different renders. Before you're done talking to them in a few minutes, you can go to your render gallery, show them all the different options. So extremely powerful.